before I get started, I just wanted to quickly plug my own Depop. It's linked in the description. Basically, I placed a misguided order, ordered loads of dresses in February, and then didn't return any of them, and I didn't like them, they just didn't fit me. Never worn them before, probably never will wear them, so I'm selling them on Depop. They're brand new dresses, never worn, have labels and tags and everything on them. So yeah, check out my Depop if you want basically brand new misguided dresses for a lot cheaper. Hi guys, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you all a Shein haul. And I'm so excited to be filming this video as I'm filming in my new background. I think this might just be the background of my videos from now on. Like that sounded so anticlimactic, but I really like it. So if you didn't already know, I'm in the process of redecorating my bedroom and all that's needed now is carpet and curtains. So I am filming a room transformation vlog for you all and then I'll do a room tour after that. So as I said, this video is a sheet in haul. They very kindly reached out to me and asked if they could send me some products. And they've done that before in the past and I think that their products are great. So of course they said yes. Um, I also do have a 15% off discount code for you all, which is JS002, which I think um, I'll have all the details in the description, but I think that's valid until September the 30th, I want to say. So yeah, definitely take full advantage of that. But I basically have half swimwear pieces and half summer pieces. So let's just get started. So the first thing which I picked up is this, which I am obsessed with. Okay, I know it says a summer haul and you're thinking, Jasmine, this is literally like a thick jumper. But if you live in England... Summer is not sunshine. We had not even two weeks, literally two days of like 20 plus degree heat. We was all living our best lives and then we've had like rain pretty much every single day for about three weeks consecutively. So this was probably, you know, quite fitting. It is a cropped um, kind of jumper knit and it's creased because did I hang it up and put it back in my wardrobe? No, I did not. So it's creased love and life. I feel like you could style this in loads of different ways and it's really really good quality. I absolutely adore this and I think it's so cute. I've just kind of rolled it up here as I think like all the way extended. It's I feel like I could wear it like that but I just think it's a lot more flattering rolled up and at the front it does go up and just kind of fall off my boobs. I feel like sometimes you might see your skin but I wore this to school and we're not allowed to like wear crop tops and show skin um, on like non-uniform days and things and you didn't see anything and I didn't get pulled up and it's also not too low which I really like I just think it's really flattering and a really nice fit like it still kind of goes in a little bit I really like this because I think it looks so cute without looking like you've made loads of effort I mean you haven't it's literally just a jumper and jeans but I think it's really cute and I personally really really like it so it's a win so the next thing I've got everything like kind of just thrown into a pile, which probably isn't the best idea as it's just gonna get creased, but do we expect anything less from me? No, we don't. So the next thing that I picked up is this gorgeous cord. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it comes with just like a wrap skirt with this cute little green daisy print. You've got like a frill at the front and then a frill at the back and it ties up. And then the top, I love this top so much. So I love the color green on me. I don't actually own that many green things. I have a lot of khaki things. But I think this is such a cute summer top. I love the print. And it's basically just this massive kind of undone top. So I feel like this will fit any size boobs as I have more kind of bigger boobs and that means that I could just kind of wrap it around the front and then tie it around the back. But if you have smaller boobs, you could definitely just like tie it up and it look really cute because I love wrap tops. I think they're so flattering. However, they often are either like showing my bra or too much boobage. I feel like because this doesn't have any set way of tying it, you can do it so it fits really well. But the skirt, I do like it and I will definitely wear it, but I feel like I'll wear the top more on its own rather than as a cord. I love this, I think this is so cute. So I popped the cord on and I love the sleeves. I just think it's so cute how you can tie it yourself so that it fits and it's flattering and all this kind of stuff. But I love it, I love the shoulders. They're not too frilliant in your face but they still kind of have a bit of something to them. And at the back I've just tied it in a knot because it doesn't fit all the way into a bow. It's just so pretty. I think this with white jeans could look lovely. I think you could definitely dress this up and dress this down. The only thing which I don't like, I just don't think that the skirt with it is flattering. With the skirt, I just don't think it's flattering. I think we do have a bit of a tree stump situ on our hands with the skirt. It would be so much flattering if it kind of just tucked under my bum and then went down rather than how it is. I don't know, I think the way it sits, 
it's probably just me and my figure but i just think the top's cute the bottom is just so now i think if this was undone and it didn't have the tight bit it maybe would look a little bit better but i think it's just doing the uttermost on me and i'm not a fan i think my go-to would be just wearing the top which is fine because the top is like one of my favorites in the haul so i don't mind so hot right now <laughs> So the next thing that I ordered is a bit of a fail. So I thought I ordered this in a medium and this is like absolutely huge on me, it's massive. Um, but it says on the label a small and in the code I just showed that says a medium on the label and I ordered it in a medium. So I'm assuming that I did actually in fact order this in a small, it's just still ginormous. The in between sizes definitely size down even if you're just like a set small I would size down as well on my figure this just drowns me and is not flattering at all you do have the opportunity to kind of tie it um, around the back with um, a belt section however I still feel like it's just a big fat no so with this on I can barely show you guys as I'm having to like hold it in place this is the most unflattering thing I think I own I just don't think it's flattering I've done it up around the back i feel like because it's really weird and baggy and this just whole thing is just no i don't like it i don't think it's flattering and i just want it off of my body and i have it tied here to kind of cinch it all in but if i untie it at the back untied at the back it's just this massive frumpy pillowcase mess and i think tied up it obviously cinches my waist in a bit better but it's just yeah it's a no so this next dress I love I think it's so cute I definitely think you could dress this up and dress this down like I would be comfortable wearing this to town with like some trainers on but I feel like you could put this with some sandals and wear it out for a meal or something I think it's so cute the pattern oh, it's so fit so it's just a strappy button-up dress you also have a little belt which I think just makes it even more flattering and then it just kind of frills out at the bottom you do have adjustable straps which always helps I think this gapes but I feel like I can kind of get away with it um, and it's just so cute the print is quite tight but not too tight to be like a bit unflattering and then it just frills out the bottom the only thing I think to make it the absolute perfect dress would be if it was a tiny bit shorter I think would look a little bit better on me personally I feel like maybe get a little bit of like tree stump vibes in it just a tiny bit as yeah i think you could throw this on with like a biker jacket and some like white trainers even just like some sandals um and wear it like that i love it so much so this is the dress on as you can see it's quite low cut and then it does gape a little bit here but i feel like the way i've adjusted the straps it's not too noticeable i absolutely love this color on me i think with a tan it'll look even better so i've just tied it into a little bow at the back around the middle and i think that's cute obviously you can take this belt bit out if you don't want it there in terms of the length i think that it would be more flattering if it was just a little bit kind of shorter i don't know if that's just me so the next dress is my absolute favorite i adore this i literally wore this two days in a row i got loads of compliments on it and i think it's so cute it's really flattering as well and especially when it's so hot this will be your lifesaver as oh it's just so cute it's this yellow kind of shirt top bit and then it flows out into just like a little dress with just like these I don't know what flower this is attempting to be maybe is it a daisy who knows it has these adorable little bows that you can tie at the top and the bottom and I wear this off the shoulder you might be able to wear it on the shoulder but I would definitely wear it off the shoulder it's also super lightweight as well like so lightweight so I feel like when it is boiling this is just will definitely be my go-to dress so this is the yellow dress on which i absolutely love i have kept on the bra that i was wearing now but i've just kind of tucked the straps down the side so it's not that kind of flashing around the booby area but i can't be asked to put on a strapless bra i love the little kind of detailing on the sides i love how the top bit's shirred um is it shirred i always say it's like a shirred stretchy fabric thing but yeah it's just like a pretty basic little dress which I really like okay so now on to swimwear as you can see I got a lot of pinks and reds so I'll start off with black because I got one black again these come in the really cute little ziplock bags these are perfect if you're traveling and you don't want your wet bikini wetting all your other clothes they can just kind of be slotted into here so the first one is this black swimsuit which I absolutely adore 
Oh, I just love it. My boyfriend also really likes this one. So I do actually have a pool in my house, so I've been able to wear this. The only thing that I would recommend is to wash it first, potentially. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I just kind of went in it like straight out of the packaging um but there was a lot of kind of like black fabric which ended up in the pool which i think was from this so that's something to bear in mind if i don't know if you're going into a friend's hot tub or something and you're going to wear it and you don't want like black bits going all over so this is just a basic black swimsuit it's quite high leg at the front and it has a little zip section down the front which I think just makes it 10 times sexier. The black and the gold zip go really well. This comes in loads of different colours. You can get it in like white. I'm pretty sure you can get it in pink and blue as well. Um, I was tempted to get the white one but I'm so happy I got the black because I think it just is so sexy. And I think black with a tan, oh, just yes. It did come with these kind of padded what do you call these? Padded pads? Is that what they're called? Just pads? Um, as did all of the swimsuits. However, I did take them out. So if you do want that extra bit of like oomph, then you have that. Um, there is a little section at the bottom in the corner where you can just kind of like slip them out and put them back in again. Um, but I do feel like you do run the risk of having your nipple on show. Not that there's anything wrong with that at all. But if you didn't want that and felt uncomfortable, that is something to bear in mind. And I did order this in a small. So the next swimsuit that I ordered is this one, which, oh, it's neon. With a tan, you are going to look like a bronze goddess, like neon with a tan pop. I have a lot of swimsuits which have these plunge necklines just because I think with my breast area, I think it's quite flattering. I feel like the pads in this one, as a triangular shape, it's not as noticeable as the circular ones so I'll probably leave these ones in. With this one you have an adjustable strap which I think is always really helpful and then the bottom I don't think it's as high legged as the black one and the back this, as the same with the other one the back on the black one does kind of rise up a little bit kind of gets sucked in by the bootay um, so you kind of have a bit more of like a cheeky maybe more Brazilian style back. The back on this one, it's not a thong or designed to be cheeky, but I feel like your bum does kind of suck it in a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's not like a nappy bum back, which no one wants. So the next thing that I picked up is this super cute, kind of sexy red bikini, which I love. And I love this kind of just like a strappy bikini style. I think it's really flattering, but I ordered this in a medium because I was like, okay, the small's just definitely not gonna cover my breasticles. This, like, I don't even think it'll cover my nipple. So that's a bit of an issue and also the back is really stretchy and obviously because I sized up and got the medium, the back is like really stretchy so I feel like it doesn't give you much support which isn't the greatest. I definitely would not jump in a pool or even go swimming in this bikini because I feel like it would be hello everybody if you know what I mean. And then these are the bottoms. I don't know if it's just my body, it probably is. I feel like they just fit a little bit weirdly as if I want it kind of less of a weird nappy bum this goes down really low it's kind of like that which just looks a bit weird um so yeah I don't think that this fits me but I think it would look so good and sexy on pretty much everyone else so then we have another red thing a little red swimsuit which this is sexy with a capital s I would not feel comfortable wearing this on a family holiday, family resort. I don't even know if I'd feel comfortable wearing this on like holiday with my boyfriend. For me personally, I feel like it's doing the uttermost. I have cleavage in it, it's super high leg, thong. I feel like you could probably wear this on a girl's holiday with like a craft on over the top, maybe it's like a beach club or something. That would look sexy, but definitely a no for the family holiday. This is a size medium. Again, you have the option to take out the padding in it. It's ruched at the side and incredibly like high leg. The high leg section is longer than the part that's actually covered if you get what I mean. And I think this is really fit but I feel like it just comes up too high. It's higher than my waist a little bit. I feel like because the thong section goes up so high at the back I feel like it looks a bit stupid and unflashing because it looks a bit weird. It's like why do you have a thong going like literally past the middle of your back? Like are you okay? Yeah, I think this one's a no. So then the last bikini is so cute and it's this 
<laughs> little tie-dye bikini. Tie-dye is literally everywhere at the moment. I love this so much. You could get more of a lighter pink version, but I thought the hot pink would make me look more tanned when I'm not and very pasty at the moment. And that's probably going to be the same for the foreseeable future. I think the bottoms are quite high rise. They're not really high leg, but they're not basic briefs. I quite like them when they sit either above my hips or just below them. And then the bum, same thing. It's not like nappy bum. I feel like it does kind of cinch in a little bit. The top is lovely. I feel like I can wear it in a way where everything is not out. I mean, it is out, but it's not like, oh my God where's your top but because I ordered this in a medium the part that goes around um my body is um too big because I feel like it doesn't give me enough support to kind of hold that underwire in place and it kind of just rises up and I get a little bit of underbeeb which it's not designed to have underboobs so we love that for me and then to kind of counteract that I tend to just tighten up the tops but then you get that awful thing which I just don't like on bikinis where um the back strap goes higher than the front and I just don't think it looks cute it looks so much nicer when it's all like one length so yeah but I do really really like that and I think it's cute um, and I'll definitely be wearing this it's not 100% the best fit but it's like okay and I'll wear it I don't really ever feel 100% oh my god this is so amazing in swimwear well especially bikinis I think swimsuits I'm a lot more comfortable in and feel like yeah this is a good fit I struggle to get bras that fit me well let alone bikinis so it's fine but yeah so that was pretty much everything hopefully you guys enjoyed this video I will of course have everything linked in the description as well as my discount code which is JS002 I hope if not that's really awkward that I got the code name wrong like always comment down below if you guys have any video requests if you guys have ordered anything from Shein before or intend to order things from Shein and we can just have a chat in the comments like if you haven't already and of course subscribe thank you all so much for watching and I'm gonna love you and leave you all here Mwah.